I can't really understand what you're saying. Uh, Russia, Iranian, North Korea, Chinese, Hezbollah, Hamas. You wrote Hamas. Are you from Israel, Hamas? Or Ukrainian, Taiwanese, South Korean, Israel for America? Uh, or Ukraine, Taiwanese, South Korea, Israel for America? Yeah, you're trying to divide it up into uh, which countries are going to be, you know, this access, that access. Axis and allies and stuff like this, right? So, sure, uh, Russia, China, Iran. Uh, what else did you say? North Korea, uh, Lebanon, Syria. Uh, a lot of African nations, a lot of Latin South American nations. They're with China and Russia, if you want to think about it, right? Kazakhstan, same. Um, da, 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 da. Afghanistan, same with China and Russia. There's no doubt. Uh, Iraq, same. Turkey, tear tottering, and the Western powers have Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, uh, Ukraine, uh, United States, most of Western Europe. But which countries are stable? Ukraine is done, right? Uh, Taiwan is just a base, U.S. military base. It doesn't have military might, right? Uh, who else? South Korea, sure, strong. However, uh, South Korea has its own problems. Japan in serious economic turmoil. Serious economic turmoil. Okay. India is playing the line between China, Russia, and the West. But India is leaning more towards uh, the BRICS nation because it's part of the BRICS nation, right? And the BRICS nations are bringing in more people. You can't compare. What's happening is the global south, the global majority is rising and Western hegemony is collapsing. Where these are two ships passing in the night. One is completely on the verge of collapse and the other is rising uh, with tremendous might, tremendous 